don't. You're just going to mope the whole time and thought that you could have done it. So why don't you just do it this time? So thank you. Thanks for that moment of frustration, Susie. I really appreciate that. That really motivated me. But anyway, as I've said, and, and one, of the, uh, one of the slogans that I've, I've been putting out just to start the campaign off is, may the best plan win. And that's really something that I, I feel strongly about. I wish that we had ranked ballot vote voting, which did not council approve that. I may be wrong, but I believe that council actually approved that. So it's up to the province. It's up to, to Kathleen Lynn and Andrea Horvath. Uh, to get that going, because that is something that would really make this a lot easier. Because then we could all vote for our top five people and whatever their plans were, and make it work. We will, we'll have to see what happens in September. Of course, if I'm leading or in a good position to win, I'll be there. But if I'm not, and I have only a, a fringe percentage, then I'll pass the torch, because I want this city to live up to its potential. Yes! I know that there are so many incredible people doing so many incredible things in this city that to have them stomped down by a bull in a china shop does not make sense, it's not right, and, it, and we can't let it continue. It's an inspirational place to live and, and I get inspired every day going to farmers markets and riding my bike to various coffee shops and meeting people on the street and talking to people at, at shows. And I know there are great ideas out there and I know also that ideas are free. We can come up with some of the greatest ideas together and make them central and part of this campaign so that whoever gets elected will have a palette of ideas that they can draw from and council will have a palette of great ideas that they can draw from to make this city better, to make this city more fiscally responsible, to make this city a transit city, to make this city a beautiful place to live, to make this city a sustainable city. And that's what I'm all about. So we're gonna play a little music now and uh, set the mood and then we'll do a little talking later. And what I wanna do, I, have a, I had an easel here somewhere and uh, once we, after we do the first set, what I really want to do is, is start writing some ideas down, writing some concerns down, and uh, also we'll, we'll, we'll pass around a camera, we'll, we'll come around with a camera at some point, and if, if you want to, you know, just have, do a quick, uh, like a 30 second or 20 second little blip that we can put up on the website maybe about what issue it is that concerns you in this city, or what great, fantastic idea you have for a specific problem. I've already talked to several people tonight and been inspired by some really specific ideas and some really wonderful general ideas to help the city. So we have the power to change the city. We have the power to make it better. And I'm just so damn gratified that you all came out and want to be part of this fun experiment. Let the games begin, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you Mike Peller on base. 